So here at Worcester Polytechnic Institute, especially in the Department of Fire Protection and Engineering, we're doing a lot of research related to wildfires, covering a lot of the, the topics that we're seeing in these fires, ranging from uh, how to homeowners and uh, regulators can defend homes or structures from the threat of wildfire, through things like defensible space, and also looking at how firebrands are generated from different material ranging from structural materials as well as natural materials, and then looking at the ignition capability of those firebrands. This research has been funded by um, a lot of different government agencies ranging from CAL FIRE, which is the state fire agency in California, to the National Science Foundation and the National Institute of Standards and Technology and the U.S. Forest Service and, and the Department of Defense. And so this is a very important issue and it's important to have this research so that we can learn from these fires and better defend ourselves from the negative consequences of them. There have been reports of seeing a, a what are people are calling a fire tornado in this fire. Generally speaking, we call these things fire whirls. And these fire whirls, where it's a spinning structure, uh, flow structure, can reach very, very high wind speeds. The wildfire can be so strong that it forms something akin to a tornado. Over here, we've got our uh, wildland fire wind tunnel, which is a workhorse for a lot of our uh, research on wildland fire. And so in this experiment, we had a fuel load that was Douglas fir branches, which is a common tree, especially in the Western United States. And it was ignited and let, allowed to burn. And then we, using the wind tunnel, had a wind that was imposed on it. And from that, you could see the flame was tilting over. And then eventually, as the fuel burned, burning debris or burning pieces of, like, of the, the fuel load, which were things like pine needles, pieces of bark, as well as uh, twigs and branches, were then broken off and transported downwind. And so in this experiment, we have several researchers that are measuring the number of firebrands that are produced for different wind speeds and different types of fuels. And then also we're measuring, using special imaging methods, the temperature of the, the firebrands or embers that are produced, as well as their velocity. And this is really important information for figuring out ways to include firebrands in existing fire models. Right now, firebrands are not well captured in a lot of the large-scale fire modeling tools that are out there. It's still very cutting edge, and I think there's still a lot of unknowns, including you know, how many firebrands are produced. And so this is addressing a very crucial research question. And so we want to know, you know how many are produced and what kind of firebrands are coming off. Are they relatively hot or just sort of warm? And um, how large are they? 